you know, this episode for me was really very informative. Um, I was really thinking before, how come the church isn't doing that much yet to really help us in this uh, cyber crime? And then I realized how humble they were to just admit that, yeah, they were not really that familiar with digital, the digital world, the new reality, and that now is the time for them to really get to understand it better so that they can help the young people and women even more. And so for me, this was really a very inspirational talk uh, episode. And me being a member of the church, even if it's not a church organization, but part of the church, then I promise also to do more. Thank you, Kat, for inviting me. And thank you so much, Marisol, for keeping our conversation truly engaging. But before we go, how would you sum up our episode? Kalinga, noon at ngayon. Um, I would really sum it up as very informative and really for me it was a very inspiring episode because as a member of the church, even though I'm not part of a formal organization, uh, I'm still a member of the church and I saw the humility of them admitting that they really don't know how to be able to uh, better serve right, the women and uh, the youth, especially now in this uh, time of cybercrime. So me as a member of the church, I'm even more committed now to support them. Thank you. Thank you, Kat. Thank you very much, Marisol. Join us again next week for another very interesting episode of Cyber Chat as we continue to look for answers on how we can more effectively fight OSAIC and other forms of cyber threats. Be a Cyber Guardian.